Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert audio files into text in Python. So to do this, we're going to be using an API called Assembly AI. So Assembly AI allows us to easily and efficiently convert audio files into text. To get started, head over to Assembly AI website. I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can easily sign up for a new account and once you sign up for a new account you are going to be taken to your dashboard where you basically see all these details and if you come to the right hand corner you are going to see your api key so to move forward with this tutorial you are going to need to have this api key so if you don't have it now again there will be a link in the description below so just click on it sign up for a free account and then let's get started with the video so right here in vs code as you can see, I have two files opened. This file called app.py is where we're going to be doing all the coding in this video. And this file called credentials.py, what I did there was that I stored my API key that I got from my assembly AI account. And I stored it in a variable named key in this particular file. And then I imported the file here. So why I did that was just for security purpose. So, you know, others couldn't have access to my api key so i started here with uh a, a variable named key and i imported credentials everything in credentials and then i stored that in another variable so basically now i have access to my api key so now that we have this done the next thing we want to do is to just get started so what we want to do is to post the audio file onto assembly ai so first of all this is the URL to the audio file we're going to be posting. Also, I want to say that Assembly AI has a lot of features. So, for the, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, post or convert an audio which your, is already online that it already has a URL. So, as you can see right here, this is uploaded to AWS and it has its own URL. So, we can just easily post that and get a transcript or get text of that audio file. But you can also like convert audio files from your local computer to text and a lot of other things. So I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get to the full documentation of Assembly AI so you can see everything you can do with the platform. So now that we have this audio file URL and I know that I'm going to be posting something to an endpoint, let's first of all import requests. Now that I have request imported, what I just want to do is to specify the endpoint that I'm going to be posting into. I'm going to say endpoint equals to. I'm going to be posting it to this URL. I'm going to say API dot assembly AI dot com slash version 2 slash transcript and since i have the endpoint i'm posting it to i'm just gonna have dictionary name json and it's gonna have audio file audio url file and then in here i'm just gonna pass in the url to that audio file So now that it has, it has that, I'm going to specify headers. It's going to be equals to. So I'm going to say authorization. This is where we're going to specify the API key. What I'm just going to do is to say API key. So normally, what's going to go in here is your API key. And then the next thing is the content type. And what's going to go in here is JSON. So to specify that, we're going to say application slash JSON. And after that, I'm just going to have a variable named response. I will say requests dot post. I'm going to post it to the endpoint. 
the JSON goes JSON headers goes headers so now that we have this we're just basically going to print this response and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to say print response the JSON and I'm going to run this and it should give me a response so as you can see it gives me this JSON response what I'm particular about now is this ID so what I just did was I posted this audio file to this endpoint and it gave me this ID so this is just telling me that it has been posted successfully but now I want to get the transcript of this audio file so I want to get the text that it generated from this audio file so what I need to do is to copy the ID of this particular quest or the response so now that I've copied the ID I'm just gonna put it in here in like a comment just to keep it safe and now that I have that what I need to do now is to just use a get request so let me just close this real quick right here you can see that we use a post request that's because we are posting this audio into this endpoint but now I'm going to use a get request to get the transcript generated from this audio I do need some lines of code again so right here that shouldn't be imported and for the endpoint what I need is to specify this particular ID I'm just gonna say slash and I'm gonna paste the ID in there so now that I have that ID I don't need this JSON because we're not posting anything. And this headers, I don't need the content type, it's just the authorization. And for the response, we don't need JSON also, just the endpoint and the headers that we are posting or that we are using to get a response. So right here now, I'm gonna have to change this to get. So as you can see, I imported requests, I have my API keys key, and I have the endpoint. The headers, the response, and now I'm going to print the response. Let's run this. So right here, as you can see, if I scroll up here, you can see that the status says completed. So we must make sure that it says completed. If it says completed, then we can scroll and after audio URL, we should see another one named text. And in this text, basically what's going to be in there is the transcript of this audio file. For this audio URL so that's the audio file that we posted so as you can see it basically says the text you know we put punctuations so that's how effective and efficient this is so as you can see it says all the text this is a very short audio file but it generates the text for us very efficiently and it doesn't just do that it also gives us more details like details of each of the word in the text that's why we have a bunch of like details here we have all the words, the seconds, the, every single thing is here. So you can get whatever details you want. But if it's just the text, you can just basically just filter to get only the text. So that's the basic way of transcribing audio files into text using assembly AI. So as I said earlier in this video, there's a lot of things you can do with this particular API. I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can check out assembly AI and see everything you can do with it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and don't forget to check out assembly ai in the link in the description below bye for now